Even wilder was the claim they could get a full charge in just 30 minutes. Some models were even said to have built-in solar panels, a genius move for a sun-drenched nation in the Sahel. Production was supposedly happening at a cutting-edge factory in Waga 2000, a modern district in the capital, Ouagadougou. The vision was powerful. As one report quoted the company, innovation is not preserve of great powers, but it can also germinate, grow, and radiate from the heart of the Sahel in Africa. The story wasn't just about a car. It was about flipping an entire economy on its head. For decades, Burkina Faso's economy has depended heavily on agriculture and gold mining. These sectors are at the mercy of climate change and shifting global prices. The country also spends a fortune importing used cars from Europe and Asia. The project promised thousands of jobs in manufacturing, engineering, and renewable energy. It would launch a new high-tech industrial sector, diversifying the economy. By building cars at home, the nation could save its foreign currency and slash its dependence on imported gas. This was framed as more than just a business. It was a national movement.